Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Darcia and today I'm gonna to share with you six activities that you can do with a toddler. Okay, so first of all, what we like to do a lot is go for walks in the woods. And um, today we've collected some sticks to get together and make some crafty bits when we get home so i've got a little plastic sandwich bag um that i just had in my pocket and we are just filling it up with leaves and sticks and then when we get home we are making glitter sticks so rocco is just painting the sticks and covering them with glitter and then what we did is just stuck some little eyes onto them and he loved doing them and playing with them so this is what they look like once they're all dry and uh, as you can see we put some eyes on them and they're just super cute. And then what we did with our sticks and leaves that we collected during our walk, I drew an outline of a hedgehog on the page and then helped Rocco stick on the um, sticks and leaves as the hedgehog spikes and we thought this came out really well. Okay, then the third thing is baking. So here we made some savoury muffins. Um, he liked lining the tins with the um, cupcake cases and we counted them all out. Um, and then we made the batter. This one was actually just from a packet from a supermarket. It had like uh, some dry ingredients, some flour and bits like that. And then what you did was just add a vegetable puree sachet, similar to the ones that you get when you're weaning. Um, you literally mix the two different ingredients together. And then we added some extra cheese and some olives. <gasps> Are you eating it? Put the cheese in. Ready? And put the olives in. Mix it up. So number four is a disco bath. So we've got this ball that flashes and we also have some glow sticks that we've added to the bath. Obviously just keep an eye on that they're not chewing the glow sticks, but he absolutely loved this. Sometimes if they're a bit irritable, it's a good thing to do just to keep them distracted. So the fifth activity is some messy play. So we have added some oats into the bottom of this tray and we've added some animals and he he literally sat there for ages and played with it we love this little tray from amazon because it's just blow up so you can really easily store it away um and then with the oats he did make a mess and had them all over the floor by the end of it but it was just so easy to just sweep up and hoover up and get rid of all the mess Okay, so finally, activity number five is pom-pom sorting. Obviously, I popped these into colour order for him, but he just loved taking them all out, popping them all back into the different cases. And it's just uh, quite a good sensory thing. And obviously, eventually, it's really helpful to get them to learn their colours. Um, and he did actually sit for a while and play this. So that would definitely be one that I try again. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my video. If you've got any tips yourself for um, things to do with a toddler and how to keep them entertained, then I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. If you like this video, I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and I will possibly make a part two of this video if you guys enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.